What's up guys? Thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, it's brought to you by none other than Major Key Physiques. And I'm wearing some right now. Major Key Physiques is a New Zealand based bodybuilding and fitness brand. They have a complete range covering men's, women's and accessories. Everything is sized from small to triple XL. International shipping is always available. The products have all been designed with both aesthetics and quality at the forefront. With over a thousand happy customers and shipping worldwide, there's no reason why you shouldn't check them out. Head down into the description box below, check out the link www.majorkeyphysics.com, use code JACOB20 for 20% off, and come and join the team. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the video. Peace out. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another reaction video. I'm your host, Jacob McDonald, and today we are looking at none other than the 18th best NFL player in the entire league for the year of 2021. He's a quarterback. His video is only a minute and 27 seconds long, which is a bit weird. He plays for the Texans. I'm going to admit, first and foremost, that I don't know a huge amount about the Texans. I don't know a huge amount about Deshaun Watson, and I don't even know who his offensive weapons are, except for, except for a guy called DeAndre Hopkins, a.k.a. Nuke. And I reckon he's probably still yet to come on this list. Right, guys, there's absolutely no time to lose. Let's roll the intro and crack into it. So I'm assuming there will be somewhat of a reason why this video is so short. Let's find out. In fact, there's a lot of dislikes. 927 to four and a half thousand likes. That's about 20%. And for a top 100 video, seems a bit much. Nobody knows when Deshaun Watson will take the field again. Set. His future is uncertain. But his talent is unquestioned. Quite simply, he can do things on the football field that few others can. The real question, in my opinion, is which of these three quarterbacks have the best running ability? Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray, or Deshaun Watson? Watson improvised. Deshaun Watson is able to escape right down the field. Deshaun throwing left side of the end zone. Touchdown! Go! In 2020, he led the NFL with a career-high 4,823 passing yards. Hang on. He, he led the NFL in passing yards, yet we don't know where he's going to play next year? I'm assuming seeing as the NFL season starts in literally four days' time, they must have come to some agreement by now. Let's look up his stats. Okay, it looks as if he's still at the Texans. Let's have a wee look here. Following the 2020 season, Watson, disgruntled with Texans team management over the hiring of their new coach in the previous season, requested a trade. The Texans reportedly refused to negotiate with other teams regarding trade offers, leading to a standoff between the team and Watson until an emergence of a massive sexual harassment lawsuit filed against him. Despite the off-field controversies with Watson and his situation with the team, he participated in OTA activities and training camp, albeit on a limited basis. And OTA, I'm assuming, means organized team activity. Watson was named as part of the Texans' 53-man roster to start the season, along with free agent signing Tyrod Taylor and rookie Davis Mills. Texans general manager Nick Casario stated that he would handle Watson's situation one day at a time. So, so you're telling me that a guy can play 16 games in a season, throw a league-leading 4,823 passing yards, have a touchdown-to-interception ratio of 33-7, to 7, an average quarterback rating of 112.4, the ability on the feet that Deshaun Watson possesses, and he's still not going to be the starting quarterback? Something's going on here. Tyrod Taylor, officially named Texans Week 1 starter as Deshaun Watson expected to be inactive. Houston, we have a new starting quarterback. The okay, the announcement of Tyrod Taylor becoming the team's starter comes after Taylor acknowledged as recently as last week that he hadn't officially been told whether or not he was the team starter. Well, 
Not only does Taylor now know, but so does the rest of the NFL watching world. Taylor signed with Houston in March, and it was widely assumed that he'd be named the starter to begin the year. Of course, this all comes as Pro Bowl quarterback Deshaun Watson, who led the NFL in passing yards last season, sits on the back burner of the team's roster. Watson is facing 22 ongoing civil lawsuits by 22 different women that allege the quarterback of sexual misconduct. On top of those charges and a possible suspension by the NFL, Watson has also been insistent that he has traded away from the Texans organization, so his future with the team is very much uncertain. Right. And we continue. He also threw a career-high 33 touchdowns. What a throw. This one is just, I mean, right on the money. The skill is no mystery. Almost everything else is. Hmm. Hmm. That story leaves a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth, I'm not going to lie. He's 25, he's about to turn 26 next week, and all I can hope for is that the justice system is just. And I guess there's really nothing much else you can hope for. So guys, any Texans fans out there, let me know down in the comment section below what you think's happening. If there is any new information out there, definitely hit us up in the comment section below. I couldn't say when this video is going to be released. Today's date, for anyone wondering, is the 7th of September. I'm going to say this video will most likely come out in October. So, now that it has, I hope you found it enjoyable. If you have, please hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.